Some of you may feel that I'm overreacting. <laughs> Perfectly understandable. The sweeping pestilence of marijuana is verging terrain for us all. But you would not, I think, be so quick to scoff if you knew the details of the Harper Affair. A true story that happened here in this very town. Jimmy Harper, a fine, upstanding American lad of some 16 summers, a good scholar, a good athlete, and representative of a caliber of young man, we have always been proud to graduate from our schools. Our story begins seven months ago when Jimmy hosted an after-school study session with his sweetheart, Mary Lane. Yes. That Mary Lane. Oh, we all read the grisly details in the very fine newspapers of Mr. William Randolph Hearst. But discretion and good taste allowed this great man to print only the tip of a very ugly iceberg. Brace yourselves for the shocking truth of what really happened that deadly spring. Oh, it's sweet of you to help me study Romeo and Juliet. Without you, come exam time, we'll hike you on a trip for biscuits! <laughs> <laughs> it's my pleasure. Where do you want to start? Well, how about the prologue? We. Prologue? <laughs> I think you mean prologue. Oh. I keep getting that confused with Montague We. And that's not even a real word. I looked it up in two different dictionaries. <laughs> Montague! It's Romeo's last name. Oh, wow. You are so smart. My mother says you're a boy that's going places. Oh, oh. You don't talk about me to your mom, do you? Oh, I talk about you to everybody. <clears throat> Forsooth, fair Juliet, would thou like us yawn hot chocolate? Oh, Jimmy, where did you ever learn to speak like that? Oh, oh well, it's fancy talk from Romeo and Juliet. Because when a guy wants to woo a girl, he needs the right language. You're trying to woo me, Jimmy Harper? <laughs>